patterns, a Kanban view can be a good way to represent data. So Odo Fortin Studio makes it easy to customize a Kanban view and add fields to it. So let us see how this is done. So let's take an example, like uh, here you can find a project module, which manages the projects and tasks. So when you open it, you can see all the created projects in a Kanban view. And you can see a few details like the project name, the customer, and the total task. Then here we have option to view overview, planning of the project. And you can view more details like when you get inside the form view, you can view a lot of details later in this project. That is a lot of options. Okay, suppose if I want to add some details like project manager, phone number, that is partner phone and email ID to the Kanban view, we can just click on this icon that is studio icon. Okay, now we are in the form view and if you want to switch to Kanban view, we can find that here. We have the Kanban view and you can also uh, see all the views existing in Kudu. Okay, here we can find our Kanban view and this one is the default view of our project uh, projects. You can it's also possible to disable or restore it. So now let's open the Kanban view. Okay, we can find all the details in this view. Now, uh, it is possible to disable uh, these options. Like we can see some options related to, the, related to the view of this project. Okay, so we can uh, disable, can create, click create. That is, we will not be able to quickly create a project. Then uh, here we can see option to view visible invisible elements and we can also set a default group by option for the our projects that is if you want to group uh, projects by customer you can add that so if you close this you can see the projects are grouped by customers here we can view all the projects uh, for the customer deco edit in Jimmy furniture ready mat and you can see that here. Okay, so to add um, fields to Kanban view, you can just come back to the add. And here we can find option to add existing fields uh, to this Kanban view. Okay. So here we can search for partner email, you can drag and drop here. Partner phone. project manager and you can also view some properties related to each field like uh, here you can change the label of this field okay so you can see a lot of details related to the field like you can make it invisible on some condition like adding some condition So if customer is not set, we can make this field invisible. Then you can also set widget and default value and you can also limit the visibility of this field to certain groups.
And if you want to make it bold, you can just enable this option in bold. Okay, you can see those details are added in the tabling view. So the same way uh, we can edit can be used in other records like other models like here we have our quotations. Here we can find option to add priority for your quotation. It is used to prioritize the quotations. So here you can see that is added here. So you can mark the quotation uh, with uh, as higher priority. So this is normal, like this way you can add a priority with it. And you can also find an option to add tags. Okay. And when you click on this three dots, you can see option uh, like, like if you want to add a drop down with colors. Okay, so it is added. Now when you close this, So here now you can find option to set colors for your quotation. And you can add a new field to this view. So for that first we have to go to form view and you can add the field that need okay after adding field to form you can switch back to canvas view You can search for existing field. And just drag it to your canvas. So it is super easy. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching. Thank you.